Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can farm the brand new Warframe, Dagoth. All things considered, she's a very easy Warframe to farm, and we'll just quickly go over it step by step. Step one is you need to purchase from any one of your six main clans, you need to purchase the new item, Abyssal Beacon, for 5,000 standing. This will unlock a new game mode on Saris. This is where you farm the resources Vein Thorns for the new Warframe at Dagoth. So you buy the Abyssal Beacons here, and then you go over here, and you will need to run the mission over on Saris right here. It's kind of hard to see. And this is the new mission, the Abyssal Zone. If you run it on Steel Path, you'll get more resources to build Dagoth, and, or sorry, buy Dagoth. And if you run it on Normal Mode, you'll get a little less. I think on Normal, you get like six to eight Vein Thorns, and on Steel Path, maybe like 11 to 13. Either way, you get an increased amount. Once you farm the resources from the Abyssal Zone, you need to buy Dagoth in your clan at Dagoth's Dojo Room. So we'll quickly go over to the Dojo to take a look at that, and then we will run the Abyssal Zone map. So first, you'll have to build up uh, her in your clan. So we'll just take a look at that quickly. So once you get to your clan, you need to build the new area. This is called Dagoth's Hollow. Obviously, for my clan, I have a large clan. It'll cost 1,400 platinum to rush it right now. I'm not doing that. It takes one day to build it. I would say just build it and wait the day. It's not worth rushing. Either way, once you have this unlocked, you will simply go in there and you will buy Dagoth parts as well as Dagoth weapon parts for the Vein Thorn. If you're curious what the resource is, the resource is the brand new Vein Thorn right here. A rare thorn of an extinct rose and a vital component in Orkin, Defixios, and other technology. So, this is what you need to farm in order to build up and buy uh, Dagoth over in this room right here. So, now that we know that, let's go navigate over to the new mission and let's run the brand new mission over on Saris, the Abyssal Zone. We'll run this on normal mode just because it'll be less annoying. And we'll talk about how the mechanics of the mission work because it is an exterminate with a twist, okay? So it's not just a basic exterminate. The idea of the mission is kill all the enemies, right? It's an exterminate mission, but you will have to go find an item which is equivalent to a dragon key and take it to the end. It is the Defixios. So as you can see in the top uh, left section there, I need to recover one Defixio, and I need to kill a bunch of enemies. Each person in your team has to recover a Defixio, which is why I would recommend doing this mission solo. It's so you don't have to wait for your team to grab all their Defixios. What you're gonna have to do in this mission is you're gonna have to find the downed people on your minimap. You can see one right here. You're going to want to talk to one of these people, one of the downed uh, volunteers. You'll see them on the minimap with this blue icon right here. Talk to them, and they will say, hey, this is the area right over there to get the Defixio. So what you're going to want to do is then run over here to grab your Defixio. This is a low-level miss mission, so I can probably just run around killing them easily like this. Other than when armored, stronger enemies pop up. And then you'll be able to see, okay, the Defixio is over there. But you can also, like, talk to other people and find Defixios in other sections. Sorry, I'm just thinking, like, where is that Defixio technically? Is it over here? Because the maps can be a little misleading, right? Just a little bit. Oh my god, where is that? I have no idea how I can get over there. But that's how you have to do it. And there are people all over, so you can talk to them and be like, there is a Defixio over there, too, wherever that is. And we're going to continue the mission, and we're going to grab that Defixio whenever we run by there, because there's no, like, rush for us to get it. But yeah, the important thing to note is when you're doing this in a group, each person has to grab the Defixio. Once you pick up the Defixio, the hand-in for the Defixio will be the end of mission area. So it's just that simple. I just don't know how to get to that area right now, and... Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm like, oh, oh god. Where is that? It's like, where is this little Defixio area? Right? Pretty wild. They can be just anywhere. 
I can talk to this person. They're like, oh, there's a Defixio over there. And then you can see another person right here. Oh, they're on the above board. So I can talk to this person over here and be like, hey, buddy, you know where my Defixio is? Yeah, what's up? Oh, there she is. You know where any Defixios are? Sweet. Looks like she knows where all of the Defixios are. So, I mean, I think we're in a good spot now. We're probably set. So yeah, you just go around collecting your Defixios and killing the enemies. All things considered, it's a pretty good game mode, all things considered. But I'm like, man, where, where are the Defixios over here? It's leading me outside of the map, so I don't know if it's like a little bugged or anything, to be honest. Or if I'm like getting memed right now and I just don't even know it. But these Defixio spawns are all over the place. Either way, we'll continue up here and then see what happens. See if we can actually find some of the Defixios. Because like, for sure, they can be a little annoying to go out and find. And that's just kind of how that goes. Who knows if they're bugged or anything? I guess they could be. I don't think they are. But they totally could be. Oh my god, I might want to like, I might re-record the whole Defixio mission thing, because this is a kind of a pain. Like, they're all over the place. I should have uh, killed my exterminate targets more when I saw them pop up. Because I don't even know where like the end of the mission is. But that's okay. We're going to go collect our Defixios in due time. In due time. And then we should be all good to go. Because there will be a Defixio just on the way over here. So we'll run by it over here. They make a noise. So once you get within range, you might start hearing a noise. So just listen for it. And it'll have a red aura. So once you find the Defixio, you're going to listen. Oh, it sounds like it's over here. It's getting stronger. No. Sounds like it's in the middle area. But it might also be down there, now that I think about it. But I'll check over here, because it also could be up here. Sounds strong over here. There we go. That is the Defixio you can see. Let's see if the Orc and I does work on them. Give me one second. I don't see why it wouldn't, but we'll see. Uh, looks like the Orc and I does pick them up. So if you have an Orc and I, you can use that on those. If you don't know what the Orc and I is, it is landing craft uh, stuff. Oh, I dropped my Defixio last time. So, when you pick up the Defixio, it is pretty much a debuff to you. It will debuff you and your, like, character. It'll give you a Dragon Key debuff, if you know what those are. And then you just take it into the end zone, and you're good to go. That's how easy the mission is. It's just an exterminate with a little bit of specialty and a little bit of an annoyance in regards to farming up the Defixio. But hey, that's just how that goes. And then you just continue killing and farming everyone here. So that is how you farm up the entirety of your boy, your girl, Dagoth, so sorry. And you can just keep running this mission. I got the explanation out really early, that's why I don't mind this being like a longer casual farming video. But yeah, that is how you farm up your girl, Dagoth. <laughs> Dagoth. She is a good Warframe, all things considered. So, not mad. But... Yeah, you just keep killing enemies and then get to the end of the mission. So, at this point, I'll probably just cut to the end of the mission. Just more. And there. When you get to the end, it automatically hands in the Defixio, and then you just kind of walk away. Again, each person in your group needs to have the Defixio and hand in the Defixio at the end. But, teammates can farm the Defixios for you. You can have one person grab a Defixio, hand it in at the end, grab a Defixio, hand it in at the end, grab a Defixio, hand it in at the end. You can continually do that if you so choose. It just makes more sense for every single person to grab a Defixio. Just a reminder though, the Defixios do Dragon Key debuff you. So if you plan on doing that mission alone, just make sure you have a strong enough solo frame so that you can actually handle that. If we look at the patch notes for the Defixio, it goes over how to do that entirety here, and it has all of the debuffs right here. We have Phantom Curse, Scarcity Curse, Echo Curse, Hunter Curse, Exposure Curse, Blood Curse, Wariness Curse, and the Shadow Curse. And it also has Steel Path modifiers, right? Uh, Nox Reinforced have a higher chance of spawning in Steel Path, and that's how you get the Vainforn. 8, 11, and 12 on Steel Path, 6 to 8 on regular, and that is fully up how you farm to Goth. So as always, sub, like, rate, subscribe, check out all the social medias. Ah.